In the grand theater of Indian politics, there are a few characters who never fail to amaze. Standing tall amongst these fascinating figures is Rahul Gandhi. Rahul's unique perspective on matters of national importance is indeed a source of ceaseless wonder. Whether it's waking up at night or having the profound revelation about the non-residential Indian status of our freedom fighters, the Congress leader has had a knack of adding his own dose of narrative. Namaste, you're welcome to TFI Post. During a recent address, Rahul served us another dose of his peculiar wisdom. The central architect of modern India was an NRI. Mahatma Gandhi was an NRI. The freedom movement of India began in South Africa. Nehru, B.R. Ambedkar, Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel, Subhash Chandra Bose all were NRIs and had an open mind to the outside world, he declared. As the audience grappled with the meaning of his newfound knowledge, it dawned on us that our understanding of the concept of NRI was perhaps too restricted. It seems we have to expand our own horizons like those of the freedom fighters to encompass the idea that anyone with exposure to foreign lands and ideas could be considered as an NRI. The sheer depth of Rahul's proclamation is awe-inspiring. Our great freedom fighters, we are told, were not just stalwarts in the struggle against British rule. They were NRIs who carried within them the broad visions and expansive perspectives that comes from exposure to diverse cultures and geographies. Rahul's statement, although greeted with varied reactions, can be boiled down to a simple interpretation. It might not be too far-fetched to imagine him hinting, My great-grandpa is an NRI. My mommy is an NRI. I am an NRI. This possible underlying meaning adds an interesting personal angle to the whole saga. Perhaps it was his method of reminding us of his family's long-standing connections with international socio-political environments. Or maybe it was just his way of subtly highlighting his own global outlook. However, let's not forget to give credit where it's due. Despite the varying perspectives on his views, one cannot overlook Rahul's persistent attempts at self-reinvention. His commitment to come of age politically is commendable, despite it sometimes leading to an unconventional reinterpretation of history and his own lineage. Nevertheless, this episode throws light on an often overlooked aspect of our history. Our freedom fighters were indeed exposed to diverse global influences, which undoubtedly shaped their worldview and approach for India's struggle for independence. They were global citizens in their own right, even if not NRIs in the conventional sense of the term. Rahul Gandhi, in his unconventional style, has brought this fact to the forefront, prompting us to ponder the influence of international exposure on our leaders and the impact it has on shaping our nation's destiny. Though his choice of words and the subsequent interpretations might be amusing, the essence of his assertion cannot be dismissed outright. So as we chuckle over this latest Rahulism, we also prepare to embrace his grand theory. In this new world order defined by Rahul Gandhi, we are all in some sense in our eyes. This unexpected twist adds another layer to our Indian identity. As we navigate the complexities of a global world, perhaps this NRI tag as proclaimed by Rahul will serve as a reminder of our innate ability to adapt, absorb and evolve much like our revered freedom fighters. With Rahul's gems of wisdom keeping the satirical spirit of our political discourse alive, we eagerly await his next revelation. Until then, we will revel in our newfound NRI status, looking at the world with an open mind to the outside world and continuing our trust with the global community just like Nehru, Patel, Ambedkar and Bose. Brace yourselves for the arrival of your honorary NRI certificate in the mail any day now. You might not have asked for it, but according to Rahul Gandhi, you have earned it by the virtue of your Indian identity. After all, in the grand, expansive narrative of Indian politics, we are all indeed non-residential Indians. So repeat after me, Aham Rahulasmi.